An investigative report commissioned by the Southern Baptist Convention says top leaders of the church group mishandled sexual abuse allegations for years. The findings have rocked religious circles in the nation's largest Protestant denomination, and now it's facing a push to publicly list the alleged abusers. It's one of the key recommendations from an independent firm contracted by the SBC's executive committee to conduct an outside investigation. The president of the Southern Baptist Convention and senior pastor at Redemption Church in Alabama, Ed Litton, joins me live now for more on this. Pastor Litton, uh, thanks for being here. The 288-page report says the governing body of the Southern Baptist Convention had been contacted by abuse survivors and advocates countless times over the last 20 years, but those allegations were ignored. Were these accusations ever brought to your attention? Well, the rumors were always out there that uh, these things were happening. There were several attempts made at our convention meetings to bring this to light, but they were very successfully pushed down, and, and, uh, and this report was long overdue. Uh, Southern Baptist asked for this, demanded this, and put in place uh, for myself as the new president to uh, appoint a task force that ultimately would hire the the, the firm to investigate. And then we had to go through an arduous process of removing all legal barriers so that that investigation would be thorough and complete. And I believe what we have is a revealing and a very rare revealing from the grassroots Southern Baptists to say what's really going on here. Now you say rumors were swirling for a while, but were pushed down. So I have two questions there, pushed down by yeah. whom? And if the rumors were swirling for a while, why did it take this long to bring them to the surface? Well, that's a, that's a good question. We ask ourselves the same question. As I said, this is long overdue. But I say swirling, people, victims and survivors would give testimony or they would say, or, or even our own messengers would bring resolutions over the years to try to address this issue. But it's a painful issue that's easy to set aside for people. Uh, but the reality is uh, we have finally begun to deal with this and we have a lot more work in front of us to do. You think there's more you could have and should have done when you heard those rumors? Oh, absolutely. All of us should have. Uh, we're the largest deliberative body in the world for two days. And so we, we, it's, a, it's a huge undertaking. That's no excuse. What we recognize now is we are facing a grievous reality. The question is, how will we respond to that reality? And what will we do to change the culture of Southern Baptist? So how are your churchgoers responding to these findings? And what is the SBC doing now to address them? Right. Well, churchgoers are uh, they're shocked, uh, they're angry, and they should be. Uh, they are amazed. They, these things have been covered up. But, but you know, the scripture is very clear on this. Jesus said that what's whispered in the back room will be shouted from the rooftop. What's said in darkness will be revealed in the light. And so th this is where we're at at this moment. The next step for us, and this is what will happen in our convention here in a few weeks, is that we will take the recommendations from guideposts and we will present them to the body to receive and to vote upon to begin to make changes, systemic changes in our organization. But the ultimate change has to come from our heart. And truly, this is part of the grieving process and the anger process we're in right now. Ultimately, our hearts have to change toward people who have the courage. And by the way, we're here today because of the courage of these survivors who stayed at the task and those who supported them and would not let this issue die. So will the SBC follow the recommendation in that report to create a publicly accessible database of pastors and other church personnel who are found well, to be I abusers? Am, I am very convinced as president of the SBC that this convention of people are good people wanting to do, it's seeking to do the right thing. That's how we got here. But I wanna say this, I believe they are committed to dealing with this and making all of our very individual churches a safe place for everybody. So, Pastor, does that mean naming names and holding people accountable? I think that's happening. Read the report. Names are named. We are holding people accountable. And I think the convention will speak loudly and clearly. All right, Pastor Litton, we appreciate your time today. Thank you. Thank you. Hi, everyone. George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.